Upper Range Vineyard. Uh, this is a vineyard managed by Bettinelli uh, uh, family. Uh, and they kind of created this uh, really amazing site uh, about, I would say, six, seven years ago. This year, this is the first harvest for them. Um, they really uh, spend a lot of money to have the best vineyard uh, uh, and the best planted vineyard in Napa Valley. The location is in Oakville, uh, just on the bottom of Pritchard Hill. And they wanted to have the perfect uh, partners, the perfect fit uh, to make sure um, we are going to really uh, develop a long-term partnership and trying to make the best uh, wine from their grapes. And uh, people decide to uh, pick at night for make sure you have a cooler temperature in the grapes. The temperature of the grapes needs to be fairly cold when they arrive at the winery because when they go to the process of going from uh, the vineyard to the tank inside the winery, it's almost like a surgery, so you want to put them asleep before surgery. Some people prefer to pick early in the morning, the temperature is still very cold, so that's, that's really the main purpose. But also it's just the logistics uh, when um, they can be processed at the winery as well. This morning, uh, we're actually harvesting a, a vineyard on Pritchard Hill called Martinez Vineyard. Um, Martinez is owned by a gentleman called Henry Martinez who... Uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, today um, this is about the third harvest uh, for us in this vineyard um, and um, every year we feel like the quality is going up and up and up so this place um, has really a potential to become one of the most famous vineyards in Napa Valley. That's why we're so excited today about harvesting uh, uh, in 2018 um, under some amazing uh, weather conditions. Uh, and um, we realize that there is a lot of grapes uh, uh, this year, beautiful clusters. Um, we really, some of the, I would say, uh, the, some of the most uh, intake uh, clusters that we've seen in a long time which means what which means that all the berries are have the perfect size they have not been really affected by either way rainfall or more um, heat waves if you want with a lot of high temperature uh, i think the elevation uh, it's really one of the key well, i call it actually as a oakville the hillside of oakville because we're just above Hopeville, uh, around 1,200 feet. And so we have a perfect combination of uh, mountain fruit uh, with really a lot of power and structure, but we're not too, too high. So we still have the finesse of the tannins that we can find in a valley floor. So the, the, the both kind of um, uh, between those finesse of tannins and, and also the power of structure create this kind of amazing wines. Um, also the soil type, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's um, this kind of reddish, uh, uh, red-brown color with a lot of rocks. So we have a really good balance between um, uh, having a pretty deep root system, but the vines being also under what we say a moderate stress. Um, those conditions also create uh, some of the, the highest quality of grapes as well. We just started to make the wine and uh, we know um, that the, the weather has been really uh, what we call perfect, perfect growing conditions. Um, we didn't have any heat wave which is uh, usually about 100 degrees Fahrenheit here. So the grapes have been growing in really good condition so there's no sign of uh, overly stressed and uh, really high alcohol. So we're looking for lower alcohol, um, which sometimes it's uh, uh, the main problem in California. And uh, pretty big structures, the skin are very thick. 
uh, and also they are very flavorful when we really eat the grapes um, you know we touch the grapes they are they are like those beautiful berry size we call it uh, the caviar of uh, Napa Valley and um, the skins are also pretty thick which we feel are going to bring a lot of structure to the wines you can, you can see the, the, the juice coming out uh, of the berries so it's like uh, the, the skin feel we feel the skin the power of the skin really there and the seeds uh, the contents are brown which is a, a very good sign of maturity why are we picking um, in October uh, we actually October 13 today um, and um, it's been um, it's actually uh, this year a lot of people think it's a late harvest but we as an old timer it's uh, it's uh, been a long run for me in Napa Valley it's actually uh, we what we say back to normal timing uh, to harvest those grapes uh, we used to always harvest uh, Cabernet in October in the past in the old days but because since 2012 we harvested so early, early yeah. uh, and uh, people think you know uh, we are late this year uh, so a lot of people are getting panicked they're pa getting yeah. panicked but I'm getting used to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always, yeah, it's always that way. be panicking yeah. Uh, but we know it's it's honestly back to uh, what we used to do back in uh, normal days.